Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Space Chicken and I'm here to answer one serious question, is rival knights worth your money? Short answer, no, long answer, I was expecting more from Gamaloft. Rival knights is just damn too simple and gets boring really fast. What I mean by simple? Well, let's start with that it's a tapping game but not really varied much when it comes to actual combat. The premise is interesting. You are a medieval knight jousting for glory, fame, money, women and of course to defeat the bad guy. Sad that the main aspect of the game is so simple. You tap to get speed on the horse and then you aim your lance to hit the weak spot of your opponent. That's it. Game calculates the rest and compares it to your rival, who got higher results wins. And this is why gear is so important. You can't really neglect lack of gear with your skill. No matter how good you may be, you must progress with your gear. There's also another thing that I don't like, tokens. Every participation in a duel takes tokens, for single player red, and for multiplayer blue. You can replenish them for diamonds which you can buy or win in online tournaments. Also you can replenish them from time to time by winning specific battle. It's not that annoying because there's enough ways to get them and play more. But still for someone who would like to play more it could be a problem. What's the biggest draw to rival knights then? Medieval atmosphere and graphics. Yes, it looks good. On this department Gamaloft delivered. Rest, not so much. What's good that it's free so you can try it with no strings attached but don't have high expectations. Rival knights gets space chicken rating of bland boiled chicken. That's it for now. Goodbye and have fun. Space chicken out.